Did you know that lifting weights and cardio could do more for your wrinkles than your expensive skincare? New studies are flipping the script on what you thought about skin aging, and it's not just lotions and fancy red light lasers. After digging into the latest research and breaking it down for my clients, there's one thing that's clear. Exercise isn't just about muscles anymore. It's about your skin health as well. So in this video, I'll break down the groundbreaking studies connecting exercise to younger looking skin, why different workouts change your skin in different ways, and exactly what you need to focus on to get visible results without wasting hours doing the wrong thing. So let's kick this off by looking at what aging actually does to your skin. I never just blame the sun for wrinkly skin, but here's why the real culprit is hiding inside your skin. When most people think of aging skin, they picture the obvious stuff, fine lines, dryness, maybe a few extra freckles. But the truth is, by the time you see a wrinkle, your skin has already been quietly falling apart for years beneath the surface, like a building with hidden cracks in the foundation you can't even spot yet. And inside the foundation, the real damage starts long before anything shows on the outside. Deep down, collagen fibers, the cables that hold everything together, start snapping like old ropes. And last, and the springy protein that keeps your skin tight loses its bounds, sagging like a worn out mattress, and the protective barriers that lock in moisture begin to leak drying out your skin from the inside. And it's not just an isolated issue, it's a full-blown structural failure happening layer by layer. And worst of all, your skin's natural repair cycle, its cell turnover slows to a crawl. Meanwhile, UV rays, pollution, and sugar are throwing gasoline on the fire, speeding up the collapse. And just like any neglected structure, once the internal damage starts, the outside doesn't stand a chance. So skin aging isn't just about vanity or chasing a younger look. It's biological wear and tear and internal damage that makes your skin more vulnerable to infections and long-term health issues that most people never think about until it's too late. But what if the sweat you're dripping during a workout is the same thing that could rebuild your skin from the inside out? So I dug deep into the research to find out if exercise could actually reverse the visible signs of aging. And what I found honestly caught me off guard. Here's how I went down. In one study, it took a group of older adults, people whose skin was already showing signs of sagging, thinning, and all classic signs of aging, and threw them into a structured endurance exercise program for just three months. No fancy products, no expensive skincare, just movement. And after just 12 weeks, the skin didn't just look a little better. They started acting younger at every level. And here were the results. First, the outer layer of the dead skin thinned out to reveal fresher, healthier skin underneath. Second, the deeper dermal layer stayed strong instead of shrinking. Third, collagen production kicked back into gear. And lastly, the mitochondria showed clear signs of bouncing back to life. These weren't just cosmetic tweaks. There were deep biological upgrades happening at the root level. So just imagine taking a car that's been rusting in a garage for years, and instead of slapping on a shiny paint job, you replace the engine, reinforce the frame, and swap out the transmission. That's exactly what endurance training did for their skin, and it didn't just cover up the problem. It rebuilt the machinery that keeps skin young. But here's the twist that most people miss. The real magic wasn't just exercise itself. It was something invisible happening inside the bloodstream, something your muscles secretly release every time you push them. And this changes everything you know about aging. Most people think glowing skin starts with a serum or a moisturizer, but the real skin reset isn't happening on the surface. It's happening deep inside your mitochondria, the tiny engines powering every cell in the mirror. Mitochondria are the life force of your cells. They create the energy your skin needs to heal, rebuild, and stay firm. But as you age, these engines start sputtering. They lose power, they stall out, and when that happens, your skin can't produce enough collagen, can bounce back from damage, and slowly starts to collapse from the inside out. If you wanna save your skin, you must save your mitochondria first. And that's where exercise comes in. When you move your body, your muscles pump out a powerful molecule called interleukin-15. This sex like a signal, traveling through your bloodstream directly to your skin cells. Once it gets there, it flips a switch on your mitochondria, recharging them, ramping up energy production, and basically giving your skin cells a second chance. Healthier mitochondria means younger, more resilient, and more collagen-rich skin. So think of interleukin-15 like jumper cables snapping onto a dead battery, sparking light back into an engine that was moments away from stalling for good. So every time you move, you're not just burning calories or burning muscle. You're flooding your bloodstream with molecular chargers that reboot your skin's energy systems at a cellular level. No fancy creams, no needles, just your body doing what it was designed to do, if you give it the right signal. But here's the deal, not all types of exercise send the same signal. Some workouts supercharge interleukin-15 production and some barely move the needle. So let's break down which ones actually matter if you wanna build skin that fights aging for good. And this brings us to the following question. Is your skin begging for dumbbells or a treadmill? Well, the answer isn't 
either or, it's actually both. So these scientists didn't just assume all workouts helped out equally. They tested it. In a more recent study, they took a group of inactive middle-aged women, women whose skin was already starting to thin, lose elasticity, and dry out and split them in half. Half did aerobic workouts like cycling and the other half hit the weight machines for resistance training. The goal, find out if how you move actually changes how your skin rebuilds itself. And here's what they found. Both groups saw improvements in skin elasticity. That's youthful snapback when you pinch your skin. Both groups also strengthened their internal structure of their skin, but only the resistance training group thickened their dermal layer the part that supports firmness and fullness. Now, the blood test itself revealed that the resistance training supercharged the proteins that rebuilt your skin's internal foundation. The reason for its firmness and bounce, wow! Aerobic training boosted different molecules that recharge mitochondria and hydrate the skin. Two completely different repair systems activated by two completely different workouts. In simple terms, keeping your skin young is like growing a beautiful garden. Resistance training strengthens the roots and thickens the stems, the deep support system. While aerobic training waters the soil, brings the nutrients, and keeps everything hydrated and alive. Miss one and the whole ecosystem starts to dry up or collapse. So if you want skin that's thicker, bouncier, smoother, and better able to fight off aging, you can't just pick your favorite. You need both. Strength training and cardio aren't just workout styles. They're biological tools that activate different survival systems inside your skin. And the best part, these changes don't take a lifetime to see. Now, the biggest myth out there is that reversing aging takes decades, but your skin is way more responsive than you've been led to believe. In peer-reviewed studies, early mitochondrial upgrades start in just six weeks, and collagen rebounds a few weeks later. And by the third month, visible improvements in thickness, bounce, and glow start stacking up. So you don't have to wait half your life to see results. Just treat your skin right for 90 days and it can start acting five to 10 years younger in no time. Here's the bottom line. Building thicker, younger looking skin isn't about a secret serum or one-off workout. It's about creating the right biological environment day in and day out. So if this video opened your eyes to how workouts rebuild your skin, hit that subscribe button and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Till next time.